Hi everyone, this is Raven Locks, and today I'd like to present a side of social media using Twitter postings called Tweets in regards to Flat Earth that not many of you get a chance to see or hear about on YouTube. Some of the most intriguing Flat Earth thoughts, ideas, and even the occasional disagreements happen to get displayed on Twitter, which is the reason for this video. And by showing some of these tweets, they could ignite our minds, which I hope could help you and I understand or possibly even relearn our so-called reality. Let's get started. Coming from Flat Earth Society, this post reads, One of our members is mapping out the flat world. Follow his progress here. I've provided the link, and basically, this is another attempt to map out our flat earth, and from the looks of the thread, the last entry was back in April. Nevertheless, kudos for the Flat Earth Society to tackle this huge project, and I hope they keep up at updating us on their findings. Here's one from Atlas Obscura. There are an estimated 1,000 to 2,000 cell phone tower trees in the United States. How's this for hiding in plain sight? With all the cell phone tree towers being constructed, what would happen with the hundreds of thousands of satellites scattered and floating in space? Hmm. I came across this article a month ago and had to tweet this myself. Museum of the Flat Earth, coming soon to Fogo Island. Did you know back in May, the community of Fogo Island, located in Canada, held a grand opening of its own Flat Earth Museum? For our fellow Flat Earth Canadians, wouldn't this be a great place to visit? and see what kinds of Flat Earth memorabilia have been created and collected through the years? Road trip, anyone? The Gwen Towers. Electromagnetic waves for total control. Just reading the headline gets me all bothered. This lengthy article from Zen Gardner a whole new meaning to the term brainwashing. So, I'll let you decide if you're up to reading the article for yourself. On a much lighter note, need a perfect Father's Day gift? Our fun constellation umbrella is recommended by the Guardian. Now this would be a great gift for anyone who enjoys stargazing. You can mimic the procession of the constellations in the comfort of your own personal space. But just do it outside. So I hope this video was entertaining to you as well as informative. Please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think of these tweets by leaving your comments below. Thanks for viewing.